hello friends and welcome to this video where we will discuss about the call functions in assembly language so let's go through okay first of all let's see one c++ program okay what we are doing in this program is just uh, you might be knowing including all the files study h and all those things so first of all we create a class called temp make it a public then we create a function in this class display and and in display we just carry out only one instruction that is printing a string hello display then i finish it finish this function create the main section of program void main then we create an object which is a member of class temp and then we call this function display we call with this object t dot display so what it does is simply we consider this as a main program and this as a defined function so in this program we are just calling a display called function from our, from our main program and this function when called it directly jumps over here and it carries out this, this instruction printing hello display world hello display string to the screen fine let's jump to our assembly program so i have this program call and jump simple dot s assembly program there's nothing like there's no jump instruction jump instruction in this program i just named it like this for further references so we got our data section and data section we got our hello string it is carrying hello this is and one space fine then we have a one string called length it is having a value of 4 fine basis section allocating some memory to variables we are not using in this program so directly straight away jump to our text section fine first of all what we do in this program is we are just printing something to screen just for the formality sake and you know you already know the syntax of printing something to screen what we are printing is hello string what is hello string is hello this is with a space okay so first of all when the program gets executed first of all this hello string is printed to the screen fine with a space at its end then further we start making some functions the first function is let's make it a little bit this comment little bit separated okay so we got our first function so the syntax of defining a function in assembly is like this a type of print one and it is defined as function so our operating system knows that it is a function called print one okay you can call it anything print one hello one your name one anything so we create a function called print one and then we define that function print one level then we just carry out all those instructions only the uh, os call for print command then file descriptor then what we are printing to this screen is according to this function the function when the function is called it will straight away print this string what is this string call what call is carrying call is carrying a string called c a l l call with itself fine so whenever we call this function the screen will be called sorry this string will be called from our data section will be stored to our e6 register then further the length of the string for c a l l it is four four characters long then calling the interrupt after that we define another function named exit and we are defining it as a function and the 
you know the formal uh, syntax for creating an exit function we are creating an exit function with a label dot called exit you can name it anything you can call it an exit one anything else but the syntax remains same as we call the syntax for our exit function fine and what is the procedure of calling these functions is just simple call print one and then followed by call exit call exit we call at the last because we have to exit the program so it doesn't do anything simply this full instruction is replaced by this section and exit level is replaced by this full section fine so i hope you understood it you can uh, do it by yourself calling this function copying it from here and uh, using it over here calling exit from this place before even defining the function keep manipulating the functions up and down and their codes up and down so let's run this program so we assemble the program and create an object file sorry we call an object file call and jump simple dot o it's an object file and we create it from the file assembly file call and jump simple dot s no errors as of now so we link this file and create another file another object code called call and simple from what from our object file fine everything runs smoothly we just run this program and see what we get hello this is what is hello this is hello this is a string called from our main program which we defined earlier and let me just hello this is called from this place just a simple print function as we do it in as an introductory part in our program this function calls the string hello and hello string with this these characters are copied from this place and these are placed onto this write out function then further it is printed as hello this is this is this string is called from a separate function and this call string is called from a separate function so this call is called from here we define a function with the label this then we call call a function named print1 the name print1 calls this string to be printed onto the screen what is called the call string contains the string called call fine so this copies the addresses of that string and places it to ecx register and followed by the further instructions we just simply print the contents of this string to the screen then after the screen after the string is printed to the screen we call the exit function and where is the exit, exit function defined exit function is defined over over here we are defining a function exit defining a function exit with sending the os call number 1 exit to our ex register then sending the return number 7 to our ebx register and then finally calling the interrupt 0x80 so all this does is simply prints hello this is from a separate section and call from the string which is called from a program fine so this is simple program next video we'll use a program which is a bit more complicated it is call and jump
will be using our le instructions load effective address will copy some contents of a string to an ex register then copy back ex register to a variable and then we'll do some calling fine okay then let's see you in the next video